All right, let's talk about your Google Classroom header and how to customize that and use that space to be helpful. So what I did is I opened PowerPoint and I just grabbed a new, just went to new presentation and I went to um, the page setup, which is under the file menu. And I changed the setup to these um, coordinates or measurements, sorry, 16.67 and 4.17 and then um, landscape. And that gives you this long skinny background. And then I just took a Bitmoji, copied and pasted from Bitmoji, and then these sticky notes are clip art. So if you go to like your Google um, and you just search sticky note clip art and the color you want, there's all of these um, options. Um, and so the ones I have on mine are actually from a TPT seller clip art, but you don't have to buy it. So if you wanted this one, you could just click on this one and then over here you're going to save that one so you just do save image and you can see that it has this like you know dotted background so you're just gonna go to this website remove.bg and you're gonna drag that image that you just saved here and it's gonna take the background off so it will just be the sticky note and then you can download and then when you're in your PowerPoint then you can grab that sticky note and you can see now it doesn't have a background and you can insert it you can drag change the size that's really cute with the post or the thumbtack on top too um, and then you can type over the top of it so you can see these are text boxes and I would highly recommend doing something that's a strong contrast so they're easy to read and see. Especially because Google Classroom puts that dark overlay over the, um, over the header. So now when you have it set the way you want, you're just going to screenshot. And you're going to screenshot this whole image. And that you can tell I didn't put anything in the top left because that has like your class name and uh, meet code, etc. cetera. Um, then you're gonna go back to your Google Classroom. So we're gonna go back here, check this up so you can see a little better. Then you're gonna click upload photo and then you're going to get that screenshot. So wherever you put the screenshot, you're gonna grab it usually they just save to your desktop but wherever however your pro, your computer is programmed so you're going to grab it and then you can drag these little um you know drag this around so mine has a little orange circle just because i screenshot while i was recording on loom um, but yours won't because you're not recording on loom and then you're going to click select class theme and then you can see it's changed and it's beautiful and you have some important information right there. I love it. So this dark overlay background is an accessibility feature from Google so that these class codes and meet links are easy for you to see as a teacher and for your students to see. They don't see the class code on theirs, but they do see the meet link. Um, so there is a workaround where you can remove it. It doesn't stay removed if you close out of Google Classroom and come back in. And I've had mixed experience with students seeing it or not seeing it removed. So just make sure that whatever you put in the background is readable. I would probably go back and change the font on this one to white maybe um, on my email and phone, but you can still read it with you know the shadow. But how you do remove it is you right click and then you go to inspect and all this code pops up on the side. And so what you're going to do is just scroll down over here on the styles. You're going to scroll until you find background color and you're going to uncheck the box and then you can see it is beautiful and you can see the color and you can just close out of that and just like that. So like I said, the reason they have it is for accessibility. So you can see the title of the class, see the link to join me, etc. But you can remove it like that. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes students can see that, sometimes they can't, but that is how you remove it. So I hope you, this is helpful and have fun with your Google Classroom header.